So we're just gonna keep it real today on this video. We got a sauna to unbox and Honestly, I don't feel like it's the real thing because it's so small. It actually left a stain, like a, a burn stain on the floor. What is this? I think this is the, these are the LED lights. So the sauna actually comes with two different uh, options. You can go without that red LED lighting for the sauna. I think it's called like some, uh, what do they call this? Uh, no idea if there's no actual like label for it. Uh, we got all these poles here. More poles. More poles. And then I guess we got the actual sauna um, tent itself right here by Neuro Cover, it's pretty nice, I'm not gonna lie. I was concerned about the water pump. I didn't believe that the water pump was in here, so that was my main concern. But now that I'm seeing this water pump, it's actually um, very small, very portable. So you can literally pack this down and set it up wherever you want, whether that's your garage, your living room like I'm doing right now. I just moved into this new location. So uh, <clears throat> I was like, the only place it'll fit in this one bedroom apartment would be in my living room. And I got a perfect corner right here for it. This must be the folding chair. It comes with a folding chair for you. We got some towels, a towel, it's just super big. You got your instructions. You got your uh, connectors to connect the tent together. And then you have your neuro cover floor mat. It's pretty cool. I find it so funny because I always say names wrong. But this is neuro cover, not neuro cover. I'm not even sure if I say it neuro cover, but neuro cover, N U R E cover. Yeah, neuro cover. Awesome. Yeah, I did not do any research about this before I purchased it. I just saw it and I read the reviews and I realized it was legit, so I made the move. Okay, so first thing first. Yes, you're gonna put it right here, and I want to just look over everything, see exactly what's what this seems pretty easy to set up um i don't think it's going to take me much time at all i do want to go ahead and open up this um water machine thingy so i can get a look at that really quickly okay we got a piece right here put that right there to the side and then if i can just pull it out nice there we go and we have the machine just like that and a tube, and then, of course, instructions for it. Attach the two longer poles together using connectors. So as you can see, guys, we have the height poles all connected. I really feel like they should try to make this, this uh, uh, instruction manual a little bit better. You probably can't see it right now. Give me one second. Let me see if I can flash some light over here. There we go. That's slightly better. Um, just if, 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 if you can create some more type of instructions with pictures a little bit closer up, uh, that would be highly uh, recommended and thoughtful of you, honestly. So I'm just gonna try to squinch my eyes to see exactly what I am doing. So they're asking for two diamond pieces. We got the diamond pieces. We got the upright poles, good to go. And uh, now I believe we're gonna flip this instruction manual over and see what it's saying for the other side of it. Now, before I do that, I actually wanna bag some of this stuff back because I'm in the way of where I wanna put it. Okay, not too bad. We literally have a house. We have, oh shoot, we have a house inside of a house right now. All right. 
<laughs> Feels like I'm building a house for real. Add the insulated sun cover over the sun skeleton. How to figure out what we're doing here? Because apparently I'm not doing it right or something, or this is hard to put together in a tent. We're making progress now, as you can see. If this is how builders feel, building the house, getting sweaty and tired, I can't be a builder. Like I'm already sweating, I'm not even inside the sauna. Yeah. We got it all figured out. That took some time trying to get the frame set up, but then when you get the idea of the frame, it, it just comes to your mind. Now, putting the cover on is a whole different vibe. Like, you got to put the tent over the frame. But I want you to know, you're going to have like three long pieces of the tent. Not not the, like, like the best thing for you to do is to actually open this up, open the tent up before you put the, the tent on top of the poles. That way you can kind of see exactly where the tent aligns with the, the frame. So the long sides, you wanna start those at the very first left side of the setup, right? The long poles will be like that, and then the shorter poles will be here all the way around. But long side of the tent starts on the left and then build your way around there. Like, I've seen a lot of people doing videos, but I don't see anyone showing how to put this together and all the struggles that comes with it. But <clears throat> it's a great, it's a great, great little, great little thing. Great, neat little setup. All right, so now, what we're gonna do now is, I don't know if it wants me to fix the pump or put the lights in, but I'm actually first gonna scoot it back towards the wall and go ahead and set the pump up. And after I do the pump, I'll put in the red, UV lights in the inside. Oh, we got a remote for it. That's dope. Make sure when you put putting your hoses on, guys, that you're actually like pushing them as far back as you can. They got this plastic piece, and I'm not seeing where it goes. Yeah, I don't know. If I take it, it goes over here. It's a pretty cool remote. You have the on off button, heating, and the timer. It's pretty cool. Now we got some lights to take out. Okay. Oh, wow. I need batteries for these. Okay, you guys are going to love the lights on the inside. It's pretty creative, I'm not gonna lie to you. Now we got the nerd cover chair. Pull it out that bag right there. I'm actually gonna save this bag just in case I wanna take it somewhere. I can. Is this a kid's chair? Oh no, this is an actual chair. All right, nice. All right, let's see. I'm just gonna sit in it. Okay, as you can see, it has been about 15 minutes. The screen has started to steam up and you can't see through it. We got a little boiling noise right there. And I'm gonna show you guys in the inside what I did because I had to put a towel down. And I highly recommend putting a towel down just to give the circle plastic thing, um, you know, an even floor. And when water comes into it, you won't spill it. So just like that, as you can see the steam coming out slightly and I have the towel there with the circle tube on top of it. So, um, yeah, guys, I mean, the steam is coming out. I opened it up a little too soon, but it is very steamy. So it's now been several days since I bought the NUR cover sauna. And I do want to go over some things that I wish I didn't know that it do so it can prevent you from having the same issues that I've had. So let me show you this real quick.
So first thing first, I do not recommend putting it inside a living room. If you have a garage or a patio, which I do, but there's no outlet out there, I do recommend you putting it outside um, for a few simple reasons. Um, first off, when this white pod right here leaks, uh, of course, I got a towel underneath it, but when it leaks, the water gets on this uh, gray mat, but then it also seeps underneath there and mess up the floor. So like the floor underneath this uh, product is also wet and more than likely, since I'm not going to move it, it's probably going to destroy the floor underneath, which I, uh, I, I'll, I'll assume because it's, it's going to happen. It's just... It makes sense, you know, for water to get on the floor and not being wiped up consistently, it's going to ruin it. But however, it did come with a blue towel and I will wipe underneath there on occasions. Um, another thing that I ran into, uh, hopefully you can see on this camera, but when this tube here gets super, super, super hot, it's actually it actually left a stain like a, a burn stain on the floor and it did it all the way around. Um, and I literally just moved it and I, and I realized that, that it, it did that. Um, another thing that I wish that could be better about it is that actually, you know, the, if you get the red lighting, uh, package with the little red lights that go all the way around, um, you have to get batteries for it yourself. And one thing I realized, these batteries will die super quick. Only because I guess the steam gets into these batteries and it drains the battery super quick. So luckily, I actually own personally um, rechargeable batteries for when I DJ. However, I don't want to keep using them because I feel like it can eventually uh, damage those batteries permanently. But the batteries do go out um, very quickly. Um, other than that, guys, honestly, there's nothing else to be said about this. This is my honest review. Um, I hope you guys like this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, share it with your friends. If you want to get the same product that I have, the sauna, um, I'm leaving my code down below for you to purchase yours. Um, but overall, guys, it does the job. I sit in this thing for about 30 minutes and I'm sweating like crazy. It does the job. Um, I I have, I have seen that it does help with sleep. I've tried it the few last few days and I, I do it right before I go to bed and it, it definitely works. I feel more calm before I'm going to bed. I actually took a nap inside this one of the times I was in it. But other than that, thanks for watching. Bye.